my art would be described as pop surrealism. It's kind of like pop art with a little bit of surrealistic aspects to it, like Andy Warhol and uh, Gerhard Richter, which is a German artist. He uses a lot of scraping of paint and like very abstract. And then I liked like kind of a little bit of realism to pop in on top of it as well. It's kind of like a mashup of a bunch of different artists. The best part of art would be just creating. Just like making something out of nothing and then having other people react to what you make. So art is not what you see, but what you make other, what you make other people see. So I do art for other people, not for myself. I have a lot of influences in my life. Like if I look at another piece of artwork, it influences me. If I see a cool way light is hitting an object and it influences me. Like you know, I'm always constantly thinking about what I can paint and what I can create. And you know, everything that you see around you. I mean, other artists is a big influence in, in me. If I see something that's that's really cool, and it makes me want to get in the studio and, and do my own twist or do my own you know painting. Not like that per se, but. You know, when you see something really cool, you, you want to go and create. People that create, people that do art, they just want to create. And I don't look at painting as a job. I look at it as, as it's fun. Like even if I didn't have commissions to do or people wanting to purchase things, I'd still do it. I mean, I've always I created art my whole life for free. Until recently, I started doing paintings and people became interested and wanted to purchase it. That's just icing on the cake. I'm still going to create and put it out there for people to see whether people are wanting to pay for it or not. I'm not painting to put food on the table. I'm painting because I'm passionate about painting. Are we still recording? <laughs>